Welcome back. We now give you the details of the top stories. I'm Randall Jamias. Pina Saluto issued law number 18, nullifying 1964 Myanmar 5 Star Lines Corporation law on 1st November 2012. The Pito Saluto has enacted this particular law. One, the law should be called as nullifying law for 1964 Myanmar 5 Star Lines Corporation law. Two, 1964 Myanmar Five Star Alliance Corporation Law, 1964 Union of Myanmar Revolutionary Council Law No. 2, was nullified with this law. It was signed by Teng Sein, the President of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Pidan Suluto issued Law No. 19, nullifying Land Mines Acquisition Act on 1 November 2012. The Pito Suluto has enacted this particular law. One, the law should be called as Nullifying Law for Land Mines Acquisition Act. Two, Land Acquisition Mines Act was nullified by this law. It was signed by Teng Sein, the President of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Pidan Saluto issued Law No. 20, nullifying the Public Utilities Protection Act on 1 November 2012. The Pito has enacted this particular law. One, the law should be called as nullifying law for the Public Utilities Protection Act. Two, the Public Utilities Protection Act was nullified by this law. It was signed by Teng Sein, the President of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Pidan Soluto's fifth regular meeting continued its second day at the Pidan Soluto Hall in Nipito on 1st November. At the meeting, Pidan Soluto Speaker Uki Ami announced that the Pidan Soluto Auditor General Bill was approved and recorded in line with subsection 81 of Pidan Soluto Law. Atang Village Track in Chonpyo Township, Patain District, Iyawidi Region, was upgraded to a town level and Tabienu Village Tract was renamed as Changsu Village Tract. The speaker announced that the Luto recorded it. Union ministers presented reports on implementation of national planning and union budget expenditure for the first four months of the current fiscal year sent by the union government. Members of Bill Joint Committee presented the committee's findings and stance on those reports. Pidan Soluto Speaker announced that those who wish to discuss these reports may sign up. A union minister and a deputy minister reported on the message on the Ministry of Constructions changing the title of budget sent by the president and the union's annex budget allocation bill for the current fiscal year sent by union government. Pidan Soluto speaker announced that those who wish to discuss the bill may sign up. Chairman of Bill Joint Committee, Ung Yan Ying, presented the report of the Committee Concerning Foreign Investment Bill sent by the President with his remarks. Eight Ludo representatives discussed on the President's remarks concerning the Foreign Investment Bill. Bill Joint Committee's Vice Chairman submitted on the committee's stance. Concerning the bill, 10 out of the 11 points of the President's remarks to ratify was supported by majorities of the representatives. Pidan Soluto Speaker announced that they shall be part of the bill as amended by the President. Since the remaining point was objected by majority of voters, he announced that it shall be part of the bill as originally approved by the Pidangsu. More news still to come, please stay tuned.